This is Hill Street, originally called Pothouse Lane after the pottery located at the junction with Waring Street. By the 1790s, it led to Stuart Hadsky's foundry and was known as Foundry Lane. The narrowness of the road, the cobbles and corner bollards give a sense of the old streets of Belfast. Facing each other, we have the NIEA headquarters and the Black Box. Their different modern usage belies an older shared history as warehouses. Fortunately, both buildings have retained much of their original character while being remodelled internally. The NIEA building on the left was built around 1885 for the old Bushmills distillery. This simple two-storey stucco building retains much of its external features, such as the coach arch with cast iron bollards, ground floor moulded sill course and machiolated cornice. This two-storey stucco former bass warehouse was built in 1850. A female head in a garland of roses overlooks the carriage entrance which retains its original doors. On the ground floor, depressed lancets contain pairs of round-headed windows topped with circular lights. The panes sit within ornamental ironwork which includes floral barley sugar colonnettes with ears of wheat and hops in the inner spandrels. The roundels between the windows contain a thistle, eagle, rose, shamrock and barrels emblematic of the goods once stored on the premises. Continue down to the end of Hill Street for the location of the final point in the tour, the merchant and the cloth ear. <laughs>